welcome to How to Grow, which this is my podcast where I talk about mental health and things that I go through in my life and hopefully I can help someone else. So I'm going to let the music play for a few more minutes and then we're going to get into it today because this might be kind of a long one. If not, I'll split it into two parts if it gets too long. Let's get into it. So, I didn't know how to really talk about this. I don't know if I really did talk about this yet. I really don't think I have, but we're going to get into it. So, I haven't really been posting and uploading like I'm supposed to in the last several months because of... Well, I kind of talked about it a little bit, but not a lot. But, um, there's been some updates, things like that, so I do want to talk about it more. But, since October, since the last Where Have I Been podcast, I've been homeless. We've been, me and my kids and my brother, we've been staying in hotels. And I, it's hard for me to stay on a frequent schedule when I'm the only one who's working, I'm the only one who's really doing anything because my brother can't because of his disability, which he's still helping me when he gets his checks. So it's not a thing, but, um, I got kicked out of where I was staying at. Well, pretty much what happened was the apartment complex that I was staying at for almost a year decided they didn't want to renew my lease when it came down to renewing my lease and after they got payment from the counties and everywhere else that was helping people pay their back rent with COVID they decided to throw me out and they did it to other people in that complex too it wasn't just me it was almost the whole complex that was getting kicked out and it was some people who was living there for years Hold on one moment. But yeah, most of the apartment complex got kicked out. And um, unfortunately, in between that time, in November, I lost my good paying job I had. So I wasn't working for two months. I got a new job in January. Um, It doesn't pay the best, but I, I enjoy it and... I help help I help people and I get to talk to people so it it's kind of a good thing. The money's not there but money isn't everything and I'm starting to realize that more and more. But also during this time while I've been homeless and staying in hotels, we've been dealing with a lot of different things and I could tell you guys about the most recent thing that happened, which was we stayed at a hotel where someone got shot at and killed in the room right next to us. And crazy thing, we didn't hear it because we were knocked out because we took the COVID vaccine. Sorry, hold on. Let me... I forget to do that. But, um... Yeah, we took the COVID vaccine. We weren't really feeling that good, so we took something. And everybody as a family, were, we were knocked out. It was around nighttime when it happened. I didn't know what happened until the next day when I saw blood in front of my door. And not even management at the hotel asked me, hey, do you want to switch rooms or anything else? Nope. It was one of the other people who was living there who told me what happened. Yeah, so I've been kind of going through it there. Um, things got really bad this week, kind of, 
because of that hotel in particular was one of the cheaper ones that wasn't so well before the shooting I thought it wasn't so bad now no I will never go back there um but also I've been trying to find different ways to get like some type of extra income going in I've even opened up OnlyFans where I'm posting my erotic stories there and some erotic freestyles or erotic thoughts that I have um but also I have been I reopened up my Patreon if you guys want to help me out that's Patreon slash Poet Soul 30 I will have it in the comments down below um beyond that I've been really just trying to work on new stuff and be as creative as I can but also mentally it's been hard for me I have some more ideals of like specials kind of like I did with the mental health and the black and the as a black person in the black community I do want to do one for women and I want to do one as a single parent I could possibly combine those two but um mentally I have been here there a little bit of everywhere because it's been hard um living like that and some days you really feel like you're a failure because of the fact you should be able to do all these things and provide but what a lot of people don't realize or understand it's so hard to do that in this country because of how it's such against the broke really upgrading themselves not unless you almost feels like you sell your soul to do so and I don't know if I'm ready to be there or not so mental health wise I have been it's been a thin thin thread but I am happy that I am in therapy again and things like that so that has been a blessing for me having that therapy session and stuff like that um uh, I'm trying to think of what else did I want to talk about what's been going on I have still been putting things out I've still been very creative and getting what I can out is just podcast wise it's been hard and I'm not talking about it to be oh I'm looking for sympathy or something like that that's not the case at all it's honestly you guys know when I come to you guys and I talk to you guys about stuff I'm coming to you guys and I'm talking to you guys because I feel like it might help someone and I don't want someone else to feel like they're alone in this situation because lord knows there's some days I really feel like I'm alone and I know there's other parents who's out here who's probably struggling they're probably worse off than me like they can't really even get into a place and I'm hoping hoping soon that we'll be into a place and things will be a lot more stable again where I can do more podcasting and um just trying to work on stuff and grow and I'm just keep working on more more and more content it's just been hard because of the fact I haven't been in a stable place for seven months I have my kids like this and I hate it I fucking hate it I hate being to the point where I can't help my kid I can't be there to provide for my kids like I normally can And this experience has also showed me who's really my friend, who's really not. And it's crazy to say that because you would figure, oh yeah, you have your friends, you have people who will be there for you. But not really, not always. Because the same people when you were doing good and they needed you, 
and now they're doing good and you might need them they're nowhere to be found and it sucks like that but that's what's been happening quite a bit I'm gonna take a break real quick and maybe we'll talk about you know what we can talk about that so I'll let the music play for a few minutes and then we'll kind of go in more details of what I put a video out about this week I don't know if I did talk about it on here yet or not, but I haven't really been posting a lot of my podcasts now on YouTube. I might like have them up there for maybe now after I get them all down, they might be up there for a week and then I'm going to take them down because how everything's been with YouTube and to be honest with you, I'm kind of not happy with YouTube as an organization because they promote the negative way more than they do the people who are starting out and youtube used to be about the people who are starting out and now they're about all the big ones and the people who are pedophiles and people who are admitted to doing things and they're still their top people on this platform they're not deplatforming them they're only taking away their money for like a few months at a time and then that's it pretty much just slapping them on the wrist and they can move on and some of these people they were part of like one of the communities i actually liked i really like the beauty community if you see most of my videos i well most of my covers i do do my makeup and things like that so i liked watching a lot of beauty videos but they've kind of ruined it for me and it's almost a point where who really wants to watch this stuff who wants to watch these people now And, um, I've kind of taken some steps back from YouTube. That and also, um, a lot of my music got copyrighted because people who use the same app as me to make my music beats decided to copyright my music, even though it was out there before theirs. And it's ridiculous. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And then I wanted to talk to you guys about the video I did post this week, which I was talking about what is the difference between being in a private relationship, having a relationship private, or being someone's dirty secret, being their sneaky link, their fuck buddy, all those things. And especially if you're not knowing about it. And that's the biggest thing. I mean, technically... technically these people either way you have to be honest in any situation you're in this is the biggest thing and this is the thing where a lot of people fail to do because people take advantage of other people get their feelings involved make it something more than what it is to just have them hurt later on and you're wondering like what do you mean by that I mean, I mean, sorry, I was looking at something, but, um, what I mean is 
being in a private relationship is like, yeah, you could have a couple photos here and there on Facebook or you may not. And you know with that person, you really love them. They they really love you. You met their family, you met their kids, all that. So you know you're together. You know there's no one else. And just because you're not on social media all the time stunting for Instagram or Facebook. It's a private relationship. You're trying to keep each other. You're trying to keep something taint not tainted from everywhere else which that's completely understandable but being someone's dirty secret someone's sneaky link where they're only hitting you up at two o'clock in the morning they're only able to they're only able to pretty much hit you up when they want some when they want to get it when they're horny and then hey what are they doing tonight and that's wrong that is so wrong for people to treat them like that. I mean, not unless that's what you want. And if you you want that, just like they want it, then that's fine. But once again, that's a conversation that needs to be had. Not just you deciding for both of y'all, oh, we're just going to be fucking, that's all. No. Ask the other person, hey, this is what you want? You'll be shocked. And there's some guys who are actually shocked because I would tell them that. When that's all I wanted was honesty. If you told me the truth, we wouldn't have no issues. But um, it's hard for some guys to do that. But um, beyond that, I think I'm going to let you guys go. Because I just kind of wanted to post this one. And I'm going to probably post some more podcasts a little bit later on some other things. I know my next one I will be posting on here is going to be another special. So stay tuned for that. But that with, with that being said, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All at Poet Soul 30 um, Facebook, I do have two of them. So it's Poet Soul the podcast and then poet soul 30 um check me out on tiktok i am really enjoying tiktok um instagram i just say instagram uh i'm back on tumblr i have uh only fans patreon if you guys want to help me and help support the podcast and things like that um, please subscribe to my Patreon, which is Patreon slash Poet Soul 30. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a good day. Good night when you're listening to this. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>